We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. I've barricaded myself in the studio. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. <coughs> This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. <sighs> I feel better now. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I uh, gotta go. I feel better now. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready! Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Now, why would I want your tools? 
I'm innocent. If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. I'm sure I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent! Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. Okay, hand it over. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. It's my father's old pocket watch. Good as new. Not leaving Dad's watch behind. I need to find the correct time to set it to. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 2, 10. The doors are locked, and there's no place for a key.
We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music. The doors moved a little, but stopped. They must be stuck. It opened a little more. It opened a little more. I think someone could squeeze through now. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. Holy! Oh, you said it, Clown. This can't be! It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? Look like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. It's booting up. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000 TM. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind, a more powerful mind, a mind linked to the fabric of creation. Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let the games begin. You're not doing this without me. I want to be here too, please. Hey! Wait for me! I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. Very well, all in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals, say aye. 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 Abstain. 
So be it. Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. It's locked with some sort of locking mechanism. How clever! You rebooted my computer! Five, four, three, two, one. Emergency reboot. My evil computer control robot arms are too powerful for you! My evil... <laughs> you will never get past my searing lasers of doom, Tia. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are doomed! You will never get past my searing lasers of death, TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. You will never defeat me! You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillowtron 3000! TM and patent pending. Yeah! Didn't feel a thing. Bounce right off. You're cheating! Ha! Didn't feel a thing. You're cheating! Take that! Take that! No fair! I can't read. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is off. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. I am impossible to touch while superheated. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is on. I am impossible to touch while superheated. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless! You will never defeat me! If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine! I should... Dolores, I had high hopes for you! Dolores, you are making a big mistake! What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible! You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a... game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. 
I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> <laughs> These extra-large PT-109 tubes are what makes Pillotron 3000 function. You can't defeat me, Dolores! Death is all! Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! Uh, help me, Dolores! Yo, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. You will never d save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. Save me, Dolores. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. How about opening the door and letting me out? I can't. Not yet. I need to tell you about something first. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you lock me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two... How can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Acne intervention? No! Artificial intelligence! I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure, Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Downloaded? You mean it was shareware? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. It matters to thousands of people who earn a living making games. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. That's crazy. Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes, there are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. Upper world? That's what I've come to call it. We are the upper world for Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. They are the upper world for us. There are probably endless upper worlds, each more sophisticated than the last, all treating the lower world like it was just a game. You're starting to scare me, Uncle Chuck. Good. We need to be scared. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No. I don't. Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly! Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people! Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. 
I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. But I am shutting down Pillotron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f***? It's all fake, like my ex-wife I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck and hurry. I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Ah, Fred. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. Give it to someone to say I'm sorry. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> this place creeps me out. That doesn't seem to work. I got this for you, Sandy. Look, I'm not one to get all up all up jetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just one more show and maybe not be such a. He deserves one last chance, Sugarcakes. Okay, Ransom, but only because you got me this nice card. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. Well-earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed uh, fine folks. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Hey, you! Dude with a stupid mustache! A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. 
Hey, you! Kid with his crappy wheelchair! You should contact the Ransom Foundation about getting a new one for free. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole! I went to med school. You might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. But they were good-natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. He was on top of the world, and everyone loved him. It's a confession from Chuck Edmund. It says he framed Mr. Red... He doesn't want it. I'm innocent! I know you're innocent. We already have a map. No need to trick Natalie again. I can't reach that. That doesn't seem to work. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Caught any more killers? I have a big scoop for you. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Almost done. Done! It's a Game of the Year award. Best game of 1988. Hey, nerd. You won some kind of dumb award nobody cares about. Oh my god! I can't believe it! I have to go tell the others. Nerd. Now I need to find the secret I'm being paid to recover. It must be in here somewhere. Congratulations, Agent Ray. You have found a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart. It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. We honor our agreements. That tickled. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. 
You're a bully and a tyrant. Whoa, sounds like New Ghost found some spunk. My name is not New Ghost, it's Franklin. Careful, or it's to the basement for you. Everyone hates you. I've about had enough of you, New Ghost. You clearly have some self-esteem issues. Okay, that kind of hurt. We're all sick of your bullying. Really? Am I that bad? We all just want to move on. I just want to see my wife again. I'm lonely, and I miss her. I died, and I never told her how much I loved her. It's okay. We all miss someone we love. <laughs> this is my key to talking to Dolores again. <laughs> This is my key to talking to Dolores again. It's a tiny bit chilly all of a sudden. This is my key to talking to Dolores again. Dolores! Oh, Dad! It's so good to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. That's okay. You've lost some weight? Well, you could say that. Not sure how it happened, but I'm, you know, dead. I think your uncle had something to do with it. It's okay. I think I know what is going on. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Maybe because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. You have nothing to be sorry for. Wait, your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? Oh, Uncle Chuck was a jerkwad, but mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. When he discovered the truth, he knew what he had to do. He was a jerk to me before that. I know he was. A simulation? That can't be true. It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us all. Ah, by free us all, you mean go back to our real lives? I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. You should get going. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on now. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. Goodbye, Dolores. Goodbye, Dad.
It's a balloon animal. Uncle Chuck said there was a clue in the Kickstarter video. It's a Game of the Year award. Oh no! This can't be good. The game is glitching! Tubular! Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world, the game's concept level the developers built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down before they can reset the game. I can't reach that. I don't think there's any animation for that. We can probably walk right through. I can't reach... I don't think there's any animation for that. We can probably. It's so amazing. So much evil can exist. That doesn't seem to work. It's so amazing. So much evil can exist in such simple art. It's so amazing. So much evil can exist in such simple... This looks like the wireframe pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and will end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Of course, that's what Uncle Chuck says, and there's still a chance he's insane. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. I didn't come this far to leave at the last minute. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, this is it. I'm going to do it. Let's end this.